Alrighty. Good everyone. Welcome, welcome. Just take a sec here. Let's do that. Okay. MP, welcome. First come up the rank. How are you doing this fine evening for me, afternoon for you, right? Let's put these over here. Give people a few moments to wander in, say hi. It has been uh, only five minutes or so. Ah, nice. Fantastic. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, chatting and lurking, puzzling stuff. I am actually working on a uh, a uh, Sunday cryptic crossword. Let's see how I'm partway through it. It's from 23rd of April. So this is a Sunday puzzle. Um, and it is... So 13 by 13. Which you can see there. Um, so shorter puzzle. And I've got a couple of things in there. Um... So just working on that in between. Let's just bump this up a little bit. Yeah. So thought I would uh, have a bit of a, a look at this. Just give people a few minutes to wander in and see if I can listen. I'll uh, shout out the clues and you know if people want to play alone, they can. Um, let's see what's one I could do. 20 down, four letters, starts with W, weave one's way into being supplied with drink, say. It's a homophone. Weave one's way into being supplied with drink. Drink, say... It's only sure a clue. Homophone for drink? Ale? Mm, wait? Hmm. What else can I look at? Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, this one's interesting as well. Seven letters, 14 down. Strange that a French unconsecrated leader converted Saul. A French unconsecrated leader, you, converted Saul, anagram Saul. A French, what is A in French? Is that like a two letter thing? Because I've got a U, S, A, U, L. Yes, it is, isn't it? It is, because the answer is unusual. So A in French is un, right? And then unconsecrated letter is U, unu, and then convert Saul is S-U-A-L. Unusual is strange. Nice. Hey, we got one. <laughs> 22 across. Hmm. Okay. Cool. We've waited a few minutes, I think. We can now move on. But that's fun, isn't it? Um, cool. So, plan, um, as usual. Sudoku's first. We'll um, stick with 2014 puzzles. Then I've got a couple of um, Grandzilla things. We'll do a Steve Mossberg and then a couple of Cryptics from my Crossword UK. So that'll be fun. I'll need help for those, no doubt. But, yeah. Uh... So, this is classic, um, 30 points, so not too difficult, and uh, the reason I picked this one is you can see clearly the arrangement of given digits is a GP, so for the Grand Prix, so I like that. I thought it'd be a nice way to start. G6. 
All right. So, uh, let's go. I can see threes, right? I can see sixes. This is all just um, easy stuff to start with. I can see this four here is only going to go in one place. Here it's obvious, isn't it? Three and five. Oh, green light. Go for your life. Yeah, this is all totally fair game. Um, Fixie's in the chat. Welcome. How you going? Good to see you. Um, I must say, I did enjoy your... Silly cat? Is that what it's called? No, something else cat. The little puzzle thing that you're making. I want to say silly cat, but it's not, right? Um, that's fun though. I like what you're doing with it. Spelly cat. Yes, I knew it was different. <laughs> anyway, um, so good fun. So welcome. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we can just start pencil marking things here. Like four only in that spot. And maybe that's just a fraction too loud. <laughs> one, four, five, nine. Ah, naked single here, right? This can only be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And four, five, nine. Can't be four, five. So that's just easy stuff, right? Where does one go in this box now? Not here and not there. Yeah. Yeah, it's when all other digits can't go there. Um, so, because you've got all other digits that are manifestly there and preventing anything else but being a one. Yep. Six, seven. And two and nine. Right, two can't be here. Nine, thank you. Uh, last digit here is six. Three can't be there. Okay, so this is going along nicely. Four, seven, eight. Four can't be here or here. Hope everyone's well. Um, oh, I by the way, I uh, watched Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, which is number 7 in the franchise, uh, about ooh, six hours ago. So, um, yeah, if anyone's watched it, let me know. Um, I won't give spoilers. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought. I enjoyed it. Lara's in the chat. Look at this. Everyone's around. This is fantastic. Welcome, everybody. Um, doing Sudoku's first, Cryptics later, stick around for that. Ages, yeah. So, prior to, okay, so the last time I went to the cinema before today was for Avatar 2, which was three months ago, maybe. And prior to that, geez, now we're getting before COVID, I think. So, five years, four, five years, yeah. So, yeah, that's the way things are, right? Well, one and seven aren't here, so they must be here. This is two, eight, nine, but not nine here, and not two here. Here, there's only three digits left. Two, eight, nine. Is my nine not working? Wow, that's not working at all. Okay. Three, five, six, but five and six. And not here. Okay. So seven's interesting. Only be here. Which means... And now that's even in more interesting because have a look at four and seven. Can't go anywhere there or here. So we have a hidden 4 7 pair. Because they can't be here. 
and they can't be here. So, and of course they're not in the middle. So it's a hidden pair, because it's not immediately obvious that it's there, but it is there. And the last digits are 289. That's not a two because of this two. And eight can't be there. All right, what else can we get here? One, two, hex mark four. End game, boy. Yeah, that's going back a bit. This is going to be seven or nine. That'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, or eight. And now we have a triple. So one can only go in one spot here, which is here. Two, seven, eight. It's not exciting. Two's down here. Ah, two and three are both down here. Again, similar thing. And so, what's left? One, five, six, eight, nine. Yep, that's a good shout. Having now placed these two, all these fives are interesting. So now the fives are done, not quite. Just these two sections here now for five. This can only be four or seven. And nine only has one spot left. Because of this triple copy here, so it goes here. Eight, two, nine, seven. Eight down the bottom. And now seven's pushed into this cell. Two, eight. Eight can't be here. Now nine, eight, two, nine, eight. One and three here. So up here it's only two and four. That's easily resolved because of this two. And now this four looks across. Four, seven. And this seven jumps back across to here. And we're finishing up here, one and four. Four can't be there. Six and eight, eight can't be there. And here we need one and six. Here we need five and nine. And this nine's gonna unwind everything. Five, nine, bounce across. Six, five, bounce across. Bounce across. Bounce across and we're done. Nice. So pretty comfortable, right? 30 points, pretty manageable. That took just over eight minutes, but in a contest, you'd be quicker because you're not explaining all those moves. So, yep. Cool. Hooray. All right. Moving on. This is a Fortress Sudoku. So this is a little um, bit of an uncommon variant, I'd say. Not as common as Thermo or Killer or Arrow, Palindrome. Um, but normal Sudoku rules apply. And in addition, we have these shaded areas. And what this says is that a digit here must be greater than all unshaded orthogonal digits. So this has to be greater than all of these four. So yeah, it's uh, not that common, but I have seen it. This is only 35 points, so it shouldn't be too hard. So the key to this is to look at, say here. Here is a good place to start because this digit must be higher than eight and only one digit is available, right? So it must be nine. And we can think about where nine goes in this box a bit more. It's not gonna go here. It can't be in here because nine is not, nine is greater than six. Six has to be, is not greater than nine. So nine goes one of these two. And we, we can look at various things. We can just do some plain Sudoku and put a three here, for instance. 
But yeah, let's think about the two. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward, right? For two to be on a shaded cell, it would only have to have one adjacent number that's less than, which is one. Here, that's not possible. Because there's a three here, a three and a four, here and four and a five. So two has to be here. So that's pretty straightforward. We can do some more Sudoku. Yes. These threes are interesting. So a pointing of threes in box one. And now where does three go in this column? Well, it's not being here. It's not being here. So it must be here. And these threes now will combine. Put a three here. Four is interesting. Four can only be there. And that has implications for the cell above it. It has to be a minimum five. Can't be a six because there's six in the column. Seven or eight. One's interesting here. Hmm. Nine. Not that useful. Maybe five here. So there must be a five in one of these. Five would be possible with a two or a four. Five would need a seven, eight, or nine. So either way that works. Okay. Seven's there. We well, can just pencil mark these, right? One, two, five. That's not one or two because of those. So this is another naked single. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So only five works. They can be five. The other way to see that is, of course, five is not in any of those spots because of these two fives. Here we have seven, eight, nine. And we know that this digit is greater than this one. So 9 can never go here. 7 can never go here. This has to be greater than 4. It can't be 5, 7 or 8. So it's 6 or 9. And these digits. 4, 7, 8, 9. So seven can't be here. Eight can't be any of these two. And this being a six means we can't have a four here. And this being a five means we can't have a four here. So we have a seven, nine pair and a four, eight pair. So that's great. And now we can place four in box four. These fours means it's not here. And this pointing of four means it's not here. So four goes here. And we have six, seven, eight, nine left. But we know that there's no seven here because of the seven. And there's a pointing of eights. So that's on eight. And what, what do you know? We get a six, nine pair here too. So the last digits here are one and five we can resolve that because it is five yep you're onto it perfect and here we have a quad so only one and two can go here and we can't do much with that at the moment we can put three six nine ah but we have a nine pointing so these can't be nines so nine goes here Okay. Well, seven, eight, nine, I suppose. That's not a nine because of this. And now we have a seven, eight pair, so that's the nine. And here we're left with one, two, and five. Five can't be here because of this five. And so the five goes here. Five is in one of those because of these fives. Uh, 
Interesting. So this has to be higher than f a seven. So it's eight or nine. We have a one, two pair here, and this can't be a seven. So here it's six, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. Now where can one go? This one and this one, two pair. One clearly not going here, so one goes there. And now these ones means there's one here. But one can never be on a fortress cell because you don't have a zero. So one goes here. And there's a one somewhere here. This is a six, eight, nine. But there's nines up here, so that can't be nine. Nine, eight, not nine. Six, eight pair, not six or eight. Ah, this is interesting, right? We've had that for a little while. This has to be eight or nine, but it can't be nine. It's eight. And this is at least a five, but it can't be five. It can't be six, seven, or eight. So this is a nine. There's my nine again, not working. Looks down, seven. Not a seven, eight, nine pair. So that's a six and that's a seven. Six goes across, eight, six, and nine, eight, seven, eight. And now seven looks up. Here it's one, two, and nine, but we've got a one and nine here. Two, one, nine, one, two. Last digit here is six. And two. And the two can't be here. So this is two. One can't be there. Five looks across. Two, one. Eight looks down. Three. Five, nine. What's this? Three, six, seven. Nice. Make it single. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Seven's left. This is three or six. Two, three, five, six. I'll leave that, I think. Let's do this. Three, nine. So nine's not there. Five's in the cut in the row already. Three's in the row already. There's only three left here. Two. Two. Or five. Two's already in the row here. This can't be five. This can't be four. Alright, let's pencil mark the rest of these. Two, three, six, seven. Can't be seven. Can't be a six. Can't be two, three, or six. Ah, so this was another naked single. So this is any seven. This unwinds seven, nine pair. And nine now means five, four, eight, four, two, three, nine. Two looks up. Five, three, six, three. And everything just unwinds beautifully after that. So not too difficult and 
by virtue of this sort of min-max situation, you can see that largely you get high numbers here. Right, lots of nines and eights. Sevens. There's a five there, six there. And one can never be on a fortress cell, right? Because you can't have a zero around it in normal Sudoku rules. You could make a variant and, you know, change the rules up, I suppose, but... All right, cool. All righty, let's move on. I'll just turn the heater down. And so this is a very pretty looking puzzle. So this is an extra region and this is 47 points. So a little bit harder. And again, I picked this because of the, the GP theme with these letters. So GP standing for Grand Prix, which is the contests that um, the World Puzzle Federation holds. And uh, the last Sudoku round for this year is next week. It's been authored by three authors from Serbia. And uh, it's going to be some fun puzzles there. So do check that out. It's free to register. 90 minutes to solve as many puzzles as you can. So, um, normal Sudoku rules apply. And in addition, digits 1 to 9 appear exactly once each in each of these regions. Jojo's in the house. Welcome. How are you going? Hi, hi. So, 47 points should be manageable, but perhaps a little tricky. Let's get going. Where do we begin first? Well, five's interesting here. This five in blue can't be anywhere here. It's in the box and the row. Can't be here. So that leaves this cell. I can also see... Well, we can do a few things with eight here. I can pencil mark an eight there. And then these eights bounce back with this one to put a pointing eight there. And these eights look across. And there's an eight there. Uh, extra regions. Yeah. Yeah. And again, feel free to jump in with anything you see. This is all green light, as always, with me. Threes. Form a three-eight pair with the eight. So you can see that there. Three. Hmm. I don't think we can limit 8 in blue as much as we'd like. Maybe these 5s are interesting. Yes, we can do a bit more because 5 in yellow can't be repeated. So we've got a pointing of 5s. And 7 in orange is very restricted. Only goes here. And with these 7s, and this 7 can only be there. This can only be one or nine. Nine. Only has two spots left. Seven as well in purple, right? So it can only be one of these spots. Hmm, six in this row is pretty restricted. But I don't like pencil marking across boxes necessarily. These sixes are more interesting though. Pencil marker six there. Threes. 
Yes. Threes are cool. So these threes knock out all those spots. Three can't be repeated in orange. So three goes here. These threes look up. Hmm. Not interesting, but these may be. Yes, this is more interesting. And again, three can't be repeated in the orange. Because it's here. And three goes there. And that's more useful. Because now look at these threes. It must be here in yellow. Now we go back to these threes. And it can't be in these two yellow spots. So it's here. Pushes five across. That's nice. And I'm sure we can do something with three in this box now. With these threes. Well, three can't be in here in blue because of this three. So three in blue goes here. There's a pointing of six because of this six. Can't be here. And these sixes and this six now mean none of those are six. Hmm. Let's think about this for a moment. We can limit five here. So seven and yellow. Yes, seven and yellow might be interesting to look at. Because of these sevens in orange and this one, that has to be seven has to be here. So in yellow, seven can't be anywhere there. And with this seven, it can't be here. And with this seven, it can't be here. Seven goes there. Now these sevens combine to place a seven there. Now this seven knocks out this one, puts it there. <clears throat> okay. So we're making progress in the extra regions. <clears throat> and you've also got to start thinking about other little tricks like, for example, these four in yellow must be these four digits, right? Because they can't repeat the box. So we've got the fives, the threes, the eights. And then whatever other digit is here, goes here. But there's still too many possibilities to pencil mark that. So I don't think we can do anything more with sevens at the moment. Look at threes again. Oh yeah, interesting. Also, I also forgot this. If three in blue, 
can only be in one of these spots. It can't be here in the box in one. So now we can eliminate a little bit more with three. And now three is only here or here. Uh, yeah. G'day, Owen. Yeah, pretty much. So, it's like a killer cage that sums to 45, essentially. Um, but it's a regular killer cage, as opposed to a more regularly shaped. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, yeah. But I think that's it with threes. <clears throat> so, threes probably are not helpful. One, two, six, nine... So we can nearly do something with two. Four. Interesting. Yeah, so this actually has implications, doesn't it? For here. So it means four goes here. And now these fours combine to put a pencil mark four up here and a pencil mark four up here. There is a four here. I'll pencil mark it. I'm reluctant to pencil mark three options. But it could be useful here because let's think about these fours now in this extra region. Right? So four must be here. And now this four, which I've been missing, pencil mark there. And these fours go here. And there's a four here. Again, I've just got to remember that there's only th there's three here. Because normally you pencil mark twice, and when one disappears, the other must be the given. But we just have to be careful of that. All right, so that's a little progress. If I could limit six a bit more, I'd be happier. So this six in purple goes here. Six goes here. Ooh, no. So six in this box. With this six in yellow, it can't be here. With this pointing, it can't be here. Six goes here, and that's interesting because now we get a four six pair. And our six is not here, and it must be here. So that's good. Now we've got two options left for four. And now these sixes combined, put a six up here, but not over here. And now we can resolve four six. Here it's a one or nine. And here we get a one, two, nine, triple. But not a nine here. Oh man, my nine key's not working. Right. Yeah! Incredibly. Four says six in orange. Yes, it does. It does, yes. So now with this six and these pointing sixes, it's not here. And these sixes look sideways, which puts a six there. And now we've reduced seven to two possibilities. So now this has to be seven, right? Which looks across. So this is not a seven. And these sevens we can confirm. Block out all of that. So seven goes there and not here. Which means it goes there. Yes, and that is correct. So now we can get rid of the six here. And now where does six go in this box? With these ones. It goes here. Alright, that takes out one of the four options. This six to can't be here now. And all the sixes are done. Cool. So six was the digit to focus on, but after focusing on four. Alright. 
So some of these extra regions are getting close to being filled. One, two, <clears throat> five at nine in orange. Ah, nice. Think about what can go in this cell now. And you'll find it's only one or nine. And that's useful for the box. Because now we have a four, five, eight triple. So that's handy. And these therefore must be one, two, and nine. Nine's not, not here. This is one, two, or nine. Okay. Three somewhere here. Mm -hmm. This is good. Here it's pretty limited. Blue and pink forms X win. Let's have a look. So four in pink we know has only two spots. Four in blue. Let's think about this. Doesn't get any of those spots. Yeah, look, there's three possibilities. Um, so the upshot is that basically this can't be a four. It's not a true X-Wing in the sense of X-Wings, but it is an X-Wing-ish X-Wing, if that makes sense. Because consider where four goes in blue. Yeah, X-Wing, right? Um, it can only be in columns two or three. And in pink, it can only be in columns two or three. And we have located both instances of digit four in columns two and three. And so we can't have repeat it here, which pushes it left. So nice spot there. Column based restriction, X wing adjacent. Cool. I'm sure we could come up with a term that defines it a bit better. Um, multiple cell X wing. Um, multi cell X wing. I'm sure there's something a bit more efficient, right? Um, All right, well, we can reduce the possibilities of four here, right? Where does four go in yellow? So now there's only two possibilities here. So it's not here. And now we do have a proper X-Wing here on fours. And here on fours as well. So fours are no longer helpful. We need to look elsewhere. Two goes there. Can't be there because of this two. Should pencil mark this, right? What's left in pick? One, four, five, nine. Nine, not here. Four and nine, not here. And so this is one, two, five, but not five here. good question. It's a good question to ask. What's left here? One, two, five, and nine. So there's a nine somewhere here. Okay, taste Seven in box seven. Yeah, good shout. This is just normal Sudoku. Rule number one in a Sudoku puzzle, do Sudoku. Um, this is easy stuff. Sevens are done. Awesome. Does that help us at all? One, two, three, eight, nine. Three goes here. One, eight, nine. Blue still has a lot of possibilities. These five. Have to appear here. 
five and six and seven are accounted for. Ah, interesting. So these two must be in the white cells. This one clearly can't be here. So these two are the same. So that's a three or eight. And therefore this is a nine, which is this one. That's cool. And now nine can't be here, which goes here. One, so that's not one. And the nine looks up. That's a one, two, nine. And this can't be one. Two, five, okay. Now yeah, here, right? One, two, nine, but not one or two here. That's a nine. And these nines mean nine in orange must be here. Nice. Sure. One, four. Yes, and, and, and Rose, this is a good call because nine now is limited to these cells, but it can't be in orange because of this. So nine goes here. And this is either a one, two, or five to finish this triple. But it can't be a one. So that's two or five. This one can't be here. And eight in this box now can only be in one of these cells. So now three, eight, three. Three looks across here. That's the threes done. Oh, this two now stare him in the face. So two in yellow goes here. Two now can't be here. We have a one nine pair. That's a two. Five. One, two, one. This unwinds a lot. Five looks down. Four now can't be here. Five can't be here. This is two or eight. Not a three, it must be a four, which means four goes here. Okay, Stephen, four in blue. Yeah, absolutely. With the, that's an easy one now to see. One and eight. Uh, we're almost there. One and nine left in yellow. One nine pair. So eight, one. This must be an eight and a two. This is one or four. This is four or eight. Ah, five. So two, five. Where does two go in orange now? Can't be here. There's a two in here. And this two means it's there. Nine. Two looks across. Eight. Five. We're almost there. This is one or nine, but it's not nine. One looks down for one, four, eight, eight, and five. And we're done. Yep, and everyone in chat had everything going at the end there. So beautiful. And that took um, a bit over 22 minutes. Again, you know, you explain things and you know, you take your time with these things, but in a contest, you'd probably do it in, you know, hopefully 15, 20 minutes rather than 22. Cool. So we'll do this Sudoku. This is the last of the WPF Sudokus. This is a killer Sudoku worth 57 points. Um, so... Yeah, a little tricky.
Hmm. I noticed that too when I was preparing this pen pal ink. There are five triples straight off the bat. So that's going to be our break in for sure. Ah, you sent me a link there. Yeah, yeah. That's not going to work. Let's try this. Oh, come on. Cop break. Oh, are you serious right now? this again shall we work eventually oh boy I do not know Philomeno I must say all right I'll tell you what Owen um, I'm gonna make myself a note in the next week or two Let's have a have a go at some Philomeno puzzles because I have no idea how to do that. I don't want to go into this without some idea. Um, between lines, cool. Cells in the between line contain the size of the color region they are in. Cells not between line cannot contain. Boy. So I'll just pop this here there's a bit of I'll just so people can see the rules this is so I can see this is by analytical ninja so this is going to be a very tricky little puzzle so they're the rules sus yes <laughs> um so it's Philomeno and Between Lines. Now, Between Lines I'm familiar with. Digits on the line must be between the digits in these circles. Yeah. But there's an extra bit which says that cells on the Between Line contain the size of the colour region they're in. So that's going to be interesting. Um, well, look, it's probably going to take me longer. <laughs> So yeah, and Philomeno, which is dividing into regions. So it's kind of a bit like a chaos construction, but we've got a Sudoku grid already. So, but yeah, we'll I'll um I'll uh, maybe look at that. Uh, I'll maybe look at that uh, for another time. I think yeah. Let's do a bit of adjusting there. I did have this set up a bit neater. Put that there a little bit. Cool. So, um, normal Sudoku will supplies and normal killer Sudoku. So, um, if you don't know what killer Sudoku is, um, it's kind of like Kakuro, if you've done that, which is that digits, yes, there are. There are indeed. Uh, look, I've created them in pen for myself. Um, so you can go to the WPF website and, you know, have a look at the puzzles. Freely available. Um, I'll warn you, though, that some of them don't have solution attached, so you actually have to put it into a Sudoku solver or just actually solve it and not have a, a link that says, you know, congrats when the puzzle sold. I'd do that myself. Um, it doesn't take long to recreate some of these. Um, others are trickier, depending on the variant, but yeah, Killer Sudoku is not too difficult. Um, so, Killer Sudoku, you have a digit in the top left corner of cages. So, a three cell cage here must sum to six. These three must sum to 22. And digits cannot repeat within a cage. So, that's the other important thing to remember. Fair enough. 
Um, look, I like Penpar because it's really easy to use. It's got great functionality, you know, and particularly where it's better than F puzzles for me is where outside clues in um, F puzzles, you can't really sort of do much with them. You can't shade them when they're done, but with Penpar, I can freely surface mode them. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, Sven Sudoku Pad is, is good, right? That's similar, and you can, you know, use colours to, you know, mark different regions. I'm not much of a fan of colouring puzzles. Um, yeah, that's why the puzzles I make aren't really colouring puzzles, but each to their own. Yeah, F Puzzles is clearly a Sudoku sort of thing. Penpa has a whole bunch of things. Um, you know, you've got all sorts of things. Um, you can do Minesweeper, Akari, which is, um, uh, what's the other word for Akari? Lighthouses, whatever it's called. Um, you can do Battleships, you can do Yagellon, you can do Hash, you can do Rassi Silo. Um, you can't see it off here, but I've got, got Shaka Shaka. So you can do all manner of things in Penpa. It's really crazy. Um, but anyway, let's do this Killer Sudoku. So this is worth 57 points. So, somewhat tricky, but let's get cracking. I can see straight away that we've got all these triples. Right? Six in a three-cell cage. Has to be one, two, three. If you try doing anything other than the minimum, it won't work. Here, one, two, four is the only possibility. And here, six, eight, nine. Okay, these are just standard Killer Sudoku slash Kakura deductions. These are unique combinations, you just need to know them. It's just a thing. When you do enough of them, it's a thing. So, what does that give us? A couple of things. Uh, yes, well, so we've got some quads, right? And so, let's print in this section here. Four must be here, right? In this quad here. But in this quad, the four must be here. So the only thing that's common is this one. Um, three and 14 cage bucks one. Yeah, so th th all sorts of things um, are coming here. Um, and is there anything else? It's the only um, intersection, interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, potentially. One, two, pair, row seven. Um, yeah, so, so for example, if this is a three, this is one, two, and you stuff this up, so you can't have three here. And if this is a three, you have one, two, and you can't make this work. So that's not a three. So you have one, two, four, triple, and that's a three, yeah? So th there's all sorts of ways to get into the puzzles. All right. So you got a one, two, four, triple here. You got a one, two, four, triple here. Cool. And for instance, if you try and do this, you'll run into all sorts of problems because now where does four go in this row? So hence why here the four must be common to both triples. Cool. Uh, so we got pairs here, which is nice. Right, what else can we do with this? So let's think about this. This is minimum five and six, or I can't be one, two, three, four. So five and six is 11. And then we need a three to make this work. And if we try and put say six, seven, that's 13, we need one, but one's not available. So it must be five, six with a three. And now this cage is resolved where the three goes. Now here we can do a bit of pencil marking. 
that's what's left. Um, five, six pair, so six can't be down here. So it's there, and that places a seven here. Yep, so the six in box seven, correct. And the 10 cages, one, four, five. Yeah, so let's have a look at this one. So minimum along here, can't have one, two, three. So minimum is four, five. And again, if you don't have use a five, a four, you have 11, which is too much. And so we need a one. And now this resolves all of this. One looks across. And now this two means this is a one and a two. And this two means one, two. So lots of activity. At this point, it's probably worth doing some Sudoku on ones and twos. So let's think about this. One, one, one. And twos. And threes. Oh, no, not that. Threes are, threes are dumb, because the three in the box. Ignore me. Um, okay. Three. Mm. Well, four or five pairs, so now we fix this. The last three digits here are seven, eight, nine. Box six and box nine. Yes, so that's a good spot too. So now we've we need minimum five six here. And again, if you try to do six seven, you're left with one spare, but one's not available here. So five six is eleven, and that's a three. And here you have seven eight nine left. And we can also do something with this little section here, right? Let's say seven's not here. You have 17 and three left, not possible. So seven is part of this, so seven's not here. Now seven and eight is 15, which leaves five, not available. So seven and nine is 16 with a four, and this must be eight. And now eight looks down and it's not here. And that's interesting because eight is now in this cage in here. Yep, eight is forced in row one, absolutely. Row four, column seven. <laughs> Must be two. So minimum for the cage in column six is 10. Well, minimum is nine. be four, five, six, makes this two. But yes, four, five breaks the pair here. So minimum here is five, six. If you try and do six, seven, you have used 13, you've still got to sell. So five, six is minimum, which means that's 11 and two. And that's four and five. Nice. And now this two doesn't go here. It resolves all of that. Ooh. Four, six. Yes, four, six fails because you have three left, which is impossible. Yep. Good shot, though. Yep. Beautiful. Four can't be here. Um, five, six, seven, nine. Yeah, let's pencil mark it because five's not here. This is seven, eight, nine, not seven here. And now we got a seven, eight, nine triple. So in this triple, seven goes here, which means seven doesn't go here. And now we can look at this insect, this cage for sure. Well, seven must be now in the cage here, right? Put 
probably do something with that, but it's not the most obvious place to look. Yeah, so what are the possibilities here? Seven, eight, leaves five, not possible. Eight, nine, leaves three, not possible. So it's a seven, nine with a four. And now eight is forced, as Jojo said. And now eight is not here. We got a seven, nine pair, so that's eight. Now eight looks up. And now what's left here? We need 21, so 13. We need 9, 4, or 7, 6. And now we can do something with this because the 5 would put 17, which would be 9 and 8. 8's not available, so 5 doesn't go here. And 5, 6, 9. Similarly here. We put a five here, it breaks for the same reason. Eight's not available. Yep, there's no eight at all in the cage. And if we don't use a nine, the most you can get is seven, six, and five, which is 18, it's not enough. So there must be a nine in the cage. And that leaves 13, and you can't use nine, four, because it repeats the nine. Eight's not available, so it's nine, seven, six. So, 6, 7, 9 means this is 4, and this now forces this. 12 plus 9 is 21. 9 in the cage doesn't go here, so it goes here. Resolves this. And 4, 9, 6 looks up. Oops. Okay. Yep, 6 in row 5, yep. And three in row nine, column three. I mean, it's not in any of those spots. It's not here. So it goes in one of those spots. In fact, this is just a two, three, five, triple left. And two and three are not available. And two leaves 14, which is <clears throat> nine, five. 8, 6, not available. 6 is gone. So this is a 3. Yep. And this is a 7. So 6, 5, 5. This is all now falling apart. 2 and 6. 2 is here. 1, 3, and 8. 1's not here. Three looks up. Last digit is a four. So we can finish off this 16 cage. Seven, eight is 15, 16. Here it's three, four, nine. And so four is placed and three can't be there. This three looks up. Here it's Seven nine. So this is all um, melting now. Yep. And then this three, all these threes, place the three in the middle. Seven nine. I mean that's eight and nine. Nine bounces over. Seven nine. Seven nine. Five and eight left here. And five eight three sixteen. That checks out. Four seven. This is one and six, five and six. At this point, it's just uh, filling the Sudoku bit. Two, five, eight, one and six. Done. Look, 57 points. Uh, you know, it wasn't worth 80 points. Was it as straightforward as, as that? did seem to flow pretty well. There were lots of possibilities. Maybe it was slightly overvalued. Who knows? In a bubbly cauldron. Yes. <laughs> cool. And that took... Um, 
I will show you how long that took. 12 minutes 52. And again, that's explaining some of the logic. So, you know, it's pretty generous, right? For 57 points, if you do that in 12 minutes, you're doing well. All right, let's have a look. Just give me one second, have a look. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's do one more Sudoku. This is a killer Sudoku. Um, this is from round six, another killer. So same idea. It's worth 60 points. So it's similar. Now this one is a bit perhaps harder to see, I suppose, because you've got these cages going across boxes. And the way they've been denoted is with these lines here. There's no better way to do it at the moment, unfortunately. But yeah. So you have... 90 minutes to solve as many or all of the usually 14 or so puzzles. Now that's a lot. Yes, they're diagonally connected. So this is a 6, 8, 9 triple. This is 9 and 8, for example. So we'll come back to that in a sec. Um, now I've done nearly two years with these contests. And... I mean, I'm not the best solver, but it's hard to solve a lot of puzzles in that time for me, sort of first learning. I think I've managed eight puzzles in the 90 minutes. You know, sometimes you break them or whatever. So, you know, it is tricky going at the start, but, you know, once you do enough of them, I suppose, it will quickly to pace. All right. So this is 60 points. So in theory, it should be a bit similar. In difficulty let's get let's go so similarly we've got these things here seven eight nine these are just standard things nothing to really worry about here one two this is all straightforward stuff okay seven nine and one two four right again these are all just this is 2014 which you can't see but it is 2014 round six puzzle 10 yep normal killer rules that's correct so um the first thing i can see here is we've got a very interesting interaction going on here regardless of whether this is eight or nine this cell sees both of them so it has to be six if we have an eight or nine here we're going to break this cage so we get eight nine pairs here which i'm sure will come in handy later Yeah, it's a good shout, I, I reckon. Let's see. Okay, if there's no seven in this cage, three, four, five. Is not going to work, right? You can't get to 15 with those. So there must be a 7 here. So, 7's in there. And we need 8 more. Can't be 7 1. Can't be 6 2. So you're right. It is 3 5 7. And now we get another 1 2 4 here. Interesting. I see more triples. Ah, and so the fours, there's another sort of, all right, we have to call this something, right? Multi-cell X-wing. So four in these two rows, it'll go in one part of this triple and one part of this triple, but not in the middle. So in this box, it can only be here. 
<laughs> now this one, two, four can only be eight, seven, or five. Right, so if four is here, four goes here, four up there. Four goes here, four's here, four's up there. Yep. Okay, if there's no nine here, that's not gonna work. The maximum is 21, and that can't get there. So there has to be a nine here, which means seven, nine. And now we get some work on the eight, nine pairs. This nine can't be here now because of this one. And yes, you're right, because we have a nine and we need 13 more. Nine, four repeats the nine. Seven, six is not available. Seven's the box, so it's five, eight, nine. Must have a three. That's a very good shout. Well, consider what happens if we don't have a three. The next most minimum digit is five, and five, six, seven is too much. It's 18, so we must have a three. And what's available then? We need 13 more. Nine, four is not gonna work. Eight, five is not gonna work. So it must be that. And now, five must be here. Only spot left for five in the row. And these digits are four, I said four, five, nine. Nine has to be here. With a two. Box three, 21. Without nine, yes, absolutely. Okay, let's just resolve this first. Two's not there, oops. So in this one, two, four, triple two goes here. Two's not here. Four, five pair, so five is not there, it is there. And one, two, three, four, so six and eight, which is 14, seven. And last digit here is a three. Cool. There are multiple ways to do some of these deductions, right? But we've done pretty well. We've got the top just about done. Where next? Sevens. Seven here would force a two there. That's not working. So sevens here. Seven can't be here, so that's not a two, so the two goes here. So this feels a bit more difficult right now. It's only worth three points more, but it is more of a tricky solve, I'd say, at the moment. Row five, column three. Yes, that's a very good shout. Now, this is a trick that you have to pay attention to in these sorts of puzzles. So what Stephen's identified here is that we've got two, two cell cages of seven and a three cell of 16. Together, they sum to 30. And the secret is that digits one to nine in any row, column, or box sum to 45. So these two are 15. And because of this, five here would force a 10 here. That's not gonna work. So this is eight or nine, which means this is six or seven, right? Six and nine or eight and seven? Six, nine, eight, seven. So that's a very cool thing. Let's see. And, ooh, that's good. I like that. All right, digit nine now. This is really good. And it can't go in any of these cages, can it? Because nine is breaking the seven cage and nine is in two cages here. So nine is placed in box four, which places it in the 24 cage down there in box seven. Now we can do some more work on the nines. 
Ah, oh, well, this nine's not here anymore. So in the cage, it must be here. And now these nines work together to place a nine here. And these nines place a nine here. But again, can't be in the nine cage. Nice, and the nines are done. Yep, absolutely, you're onto it. So, let's have a look at this 20 cage now. We need 11 more. Nine, two is not an option. Eight, three. Three can't be here. Eight can't be here, so eight, three doesn't work. Seven, four. Or six, five. Five's not here, so six, five. Okay, three possibilities. Seven, eight pair. Ooh. Yes, and now we can resolve this. Yep. And so now this is a six, because remember this has to be 15. Nice. And that places six in box seven. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, yes, it does. Totally does. It goes here. Three. Nice. This nine cage will be interesting very soon, I feel. Yes, now this is looking interesting, isn't it? So it can't be six and one, or four and three. Not available. And two resolves it. Eight and one is nine. Four, one, four. Amazing. Last digit here is four. Seven looks across. And one, six, seven is 14. Here we get two, three, five. And here we get one and four. Let's have a look at this. Two is six. Or three, five. Okay. Eight looks across. Here we have three, six. Seven looks across. Seven can't be here. So four can't be here. Ah, nine here, right? Leaves three, which is only one and two. Two's not here. One looks across. One. So these ones are interesting. One in one of those. The nine, six, eight, seven. Well, these ones. This one. And here it can't be a one because there's a one in the cage. So one goes here. Which puts one there and resolves this and this opens up a few possibilities now firstly we can put an eight here which resolves seven eight and seven six and four five four but also now this cage is forced without a one the minimum is two three four and that is nine can't have it any other way so this is now five and eight. Five looks down. Five, I said. Six and eight. Six looks across. That's not six. That's not two. Awesome. That's three, five. So again, exactly what we had with this six, eight, nine. This can't be three or five because it sees both of those. That's two. That's not a two. This five means it's a two to make seven. 
Two's not here, so two in the corner. Three, four, which means that's a three or four to finish that. So that's a six, three. Here, last two digits are seven and eight, which can be finished. Three, six. Yep, now we're certainly at in the home stretch. Five and six here. And we could look at this nine cage, but honestly, this is just easier. This can't be eight one or seven two. And it can't be six three because this cell's broken. So it's four five, which resolves this pair. And three down below. So six three, six, three looks across, four three, four three. Now this four. Five, four, and seven. We're done. So that took. And I can. Here we go. Thirteen and a half minutes. G'day, Phil. Welcome. Thank you. Um. So. You know. We did in a reasonable time. Float okay. I'd say that's a little bit trickier than the last one. They're worth almost the same number of points. Um, you know, if, if only because you've got these diagonally adjacent cages, which is a bit trickier to sort of keep tabs with sometimes. But pretty good. All right. Awesome. So let's move on. And we'll get rid of that. That's the one we just did. Awesome. And let's move on and do um, some word puzzles. So this is the word scramble. Um, I'll uh, start in just a second, but this is really straightforward, just anagrams. Letters can be switched between words. Um, so within or between two words. And we just have to find what those words are. So I'm just going to check something here and then we'll get going. Oh. That's a pity. Unfortunately, my football team lost. So maybe I'll... I'll check one other thing and just see how Australia's going in the ashes. Okay. Interesting. All right. Cool. Last one's... Yes, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Um, so, let's get going. Transported goods. Blueprint or template. Well-dressed, stylish, and handsome. So. Um, got an X. Blueprint or template is like a... Base. It is... Something to build from. Now, of course, we can just randomly try and find what words are, but if we can actually try and work it out before that, that would be better. Stash and handsome. Um, suave. Transported goods is logistics, is cargo, is freight. No, I don't think I've got any of these at the moment. Shipments. Ooh. Let's have a look if it's an S. Oh, um, no. But there's an A here. Trip. 
drafts. No, there's no R. Good guess, though. That was a really good guess. But, uh, no luck. Expensive, no. Um, let's get a first letter. Ooh, D. Just D. Transported goods. So if you transported goods, what did you, what have you done? You've delivered, right? There we go. Yeah, Steven's onto it. That's the one. This is going to help quite a bit now. Draft. No, there's no R. Good shout, though. There's no R, though. This is going to be a vowel, right? E. I. That's an A. <clears throat> Oh, dashing. Yep. Dashing is suave. And example. Cool. Awesome. That was tricky. Once we got delivered, it all fell apart. But to break in is a bit tricky. All right. Musical note. Blank ship. Wine. And I can confirm that. A is the last letter on that line. So we're not missing any letters there. There is a space as well. That's what this is. Okay. Wine is wild. Look at that. 15 letters. Boy. Um, musical note. Here's a sharp, here's a flat, here's a tone, here's a scale, no, here's a breathe, here's a minimum, no M, here's a crotchet, here's a quaver, musical note is also like a tone, a flavor, uh, a rhythm, a tempo. Yeah, these are all good shouts. Um, Breathe doesn't quite work, but... Something ship. I mean, the wine, like, good luck if you can work that out. Um, 15 letter wine, like... Chardonnay or... Cabernet Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, Sauvignon Blanc. Is that a thing? How do you spell it? Oh, no, it's not. S A B? No. Yeah, it is a space. So it's going to be probably in the wine, right? It's two word wine. Um. Right. Yep. It's blank. So what's the first bit? Yep, it is. And so this is going to go here. And what's left? I'm not a wine person in the slightest. So if anyone has any clue. Oh, it's with a U before the V. Oh, nice. All right. Amazing. Now it's going to unwind, isn't it? If I hit the right button. Wheel? Oh, hole. A whole note. Yeah. Oopsie. A whole note. And it's a fellowship. Yeah, very good. Okay. Awesome. Wow. I haven't seen a long one like that before. That's wild. Amazing. Okay. Measuring instruments. Uh, okay. Now we're talking volume, like litre. Um, 
No. Clock? Oh, yeah. Clock's good. And a ruler. That's easy. And we have a big anagram. Um. Ooh. Is there a H? No, there's no H. Oh, uh, very good. Wow, well done. I don't think I would have got that for a little bit. Rometer. Yeah, amazing. It's so good, accelerometer. Fantastic. Okay, two clues. Cheeks or smile. Nada or Zippo. Oh, that's just nil, right? That I can fill in straight away. And money or system. Uh, smile, cheeks, face. Um, okay. Money or system? Applied? Appliance? No. Something money? Something system? No idea. P. Right. Let's see if I get a first letter. Oh, there's an A. There's no H. That's not like mathematic. Yeah, so it means the same thing, right? Nil is nada, as in zip zero zilch, and nil is zippo. So it applies to both of these. Uh, um, yep. T A no. M A. D A. C A. Okay. Capitalist. Yeah. Right. Capit. Capitalism. That that makes more sense. There's, there's no T, but there is an M. And what's this? Dimple. Yeah. Amazing. Cool. Now, let's just refresh this, because if there's new ones... Okay, awesome. So, these are new ones, because it updates four times a day, and it's now past 10 o'clock. So, let's have a go at these ones. Um, so, okay, occasionally... Put forward a suggest. Likelihood of something happening. This is just going to be chance, right? So let's get that out of the way. Sometimes. Very good. Love it. And I'm sure someone will have the last one by the time I'm ready. Nominate, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Right? Okay. Animal car. Small country. Pixar movie or character. Okay. Nemo. There's no M. Okay. Pixar movie. Um, ants. No Z. Bugs Life, Toy Story. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, we could be here a while, right? Maybe let's not focus on that. Animal Car. Boy. Soul, okay. Maybe the small country is the way into this. It's not Caribbean. Um, not 
Portugal. There's no U. Small country. Is it a generic term for a small country? Like... No. Let's get a first letter. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I got no idea. <laughs> okay, it starts with B. Um, I mean, Bertie? Is that a thing? I feel like I vaguely heard that. Animal car. God. Um... Oh, Beagle, right? Beagle, no. Oh. Um. Damn, I thought Beagle was good. I'm not even sure our next letter is going to help us, to be honest. Oh, Beetle. Beetle. Oh, boy, that took too long. That should probably say animal or car, to be fair. But anyway... Maybe they missed that. Santiago. Not quite. Yeah, it's okay. No, we're... Um, look, Snape. Almost, yeah, for sure. Oh, God. S-R-S-P. A-S-E-S-I... God. Ooh. Yeah, very good. Okay. And cars. Okay. Yeah. I guess... Is it a... Is it... Um, let's just... Let's have a bit of a look. Yes. Is that small in the grand scheme of things? I guess it is probably right. Smaller than like Malaysia or so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Lion King characters. How's your Lion King people? Uh, so I see Mufasa. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> Simba, yeah, that's that's going to work, isn't it? That's a more famous Lion King character. Um, Rafiki, yeah, he's the... Uh, if I can spell it. And Zuzazu, yes. Almost 6 million population of Singapore and is the 20th smallest country in the world. Jamaica is almost 8 times larger and has half the population. Wow. Okay. Cool. And this one. Give me or take. Mass or priest. Garden or portrait. Mass or priest? Is church? Mm, church might work. 
Church is looking really good. Okay. Landscape. Let's check. Oh, I think you're right. Very good. And give me five. Like a high five. Or take five. Take a break. Awesome. Landscape is good. Cool. Awesome. So nice word, Scrabble. Uh, let's do some broken words. So we might do just a daily mix. Okay. And so we basically have these clues and we have to get these answers. We've given the starting letters. So, makes you happy. Seven letters starting with F. Mother's Day, H. First Aid Kit, M. Rodent, S. And Volleyball, V, J. I mean, they can be a bit loose. Um, depends on how well you know a subject or not, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they're vaguely related. Sometimes there's a theme. Um, this this one says each one from a specific theme, right? So, all right. We got some stuff in the chat happening. Families. Let's have a look. Families, I don't think is going to work. I only have an FR. But housework is going to work, is it? No. Squirrel. Squirrel could be good. Or rodent, yes. Friends, friends make you happy. Very good. Medicine seems like a good shout. Mother's Day and volleyball. So, vertical jump in volleyball. Nice. And what's this? Ooh, handmade. Okay. I can see that. Handmade. You know, kids go to school and they hand make Christmas tree ornaments and stuff, whatever. Cool. Alright, let's do daily two clues. Okay. So... Find out the answers using the grouping of letters and the two clues. The difficulty level varies a lot depending on skill and clues used. Um, and we've got these two, and I suppose we have to use six. Two of them in each case. So, blade or spike, four or what, penumbra or umbra. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's a color or something. Coke or Pepsi, quiet or still. Renewal or Sprawl? Eclipse? Okay. Sure. Cola for the uh, Coke or Pepsi makes sense. And Calm. Right, quiet or still. Yep. Well done, Phil. I reckon you got that for me. Sharp. Sharp blade or sharp spike? Yep. Urban, urban renewal, urban sprawl, okay. Urban sprawl's a thing I've heard of. Urban renewal's a bit trickier. And ever. Forever or whatever. Cool. Let's do... We'll do two more. Uh, we've got a thematic one here, and then we'll do one of the cryptic ones, which is a bit of fun. So, let's have a look at the themes. Um, all right. Maybe we'll do two of these because there's a lot of themes. So, who wants to shout out a theme? There's a lot there. Pick one that tickles your fancy. I'm going to make a note that we're doing some of these. Theme randomizer. <laughs> Um, there's lots here like look at them all it's green things and hobbies and Marvel characters dog breeds like there's just so much here 
Hot things. Done. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put hot things. That we've done this. All right, about hot things. So, um, we have spicy condiment served with beef, pungent Thai sauce made from chili and vinegar, substance in an old fashioned thermometer, humid Eastern Australian state. That might be tricky for some people. Well, I can see what it is already based on the letters. Industrial heating structure, very hot and spicy curry, and grill for cooking over flames outdoors. So, horseradish, sounds good to me. That's a spicy condiment, definitely, typical. Vindaloo, like beef vindaloo, makes sense to me. Furnace is a heading structure. Barbecue, yep. And we've got substance in old-fashioned thermometer, which Mercury I saw in the chat earlier. Of course, the state is Queensland. And Sriracha. Cool. Awesome. Alrighty. Um, so someone else pick a theme. So Phil picked that one, so someone else pick another theme. Oh, yeah, I'm not a spicy person at all. Um, the only things I like hot are showers and chocolate. <laughs> Temperature, no good. <laughs> Musical instruments, that's a done deal. Cool. I'll go down just a fraction. All right. Have you heard about all the musical instruments in this broken words? So. Let's uh, read these out. Melodic percussion instrument. West African hand drum. Instrument played by striking round brass plates together. Single reed woodwind instrument. Brass instrument used extensively in jazz music. Wind instrument with an extendable slide. And simple three-sided metal percussion instrument. I can see we've got stuff in the chat already. Spicing things are common. Sure. Remind me not to get to dinner with you. <laughs> Otherwise, my mouth will be on fire. Uh, xylophone and saxophone, yeah. I see these. Uh, phone, oops. Right, what else have we got? Triangle's a thing, for sure. And symbol. Symbols, yep. Cool. We got a djembe, that I learnt on Early Connect. So that's a West African hand drum. Trombone and clarinet is the woodwind instrument. Cool. Awesome. Alrighty. So we've done those two. And now let's do a cryptic broken word. So the hidden words have multiple of three letters. And there's a hidden theme. And someone shout out a number that's not 1742 or, sorry, 1742, 64, 67, or 68. Maybe we'll do a couple of these. 69 doesn't work. There's only up to 68, my friend. <laughs> not gonna work. Uh, something else. <laughs> Six plus nine is a compromise. Done deal. Fifteen it is. All right. That's a fair compromise. Cool. So we have eight hidden words and a hidden theme word, and these are the letters to do them with. I'm going to make a note that we have solved... How are we going here? Now this will be harder, right? Because we don't know the theme. We're just trying to pluck words from thin air. Okay. Primer. 
Yes, powder. Okay. Is this painting? Or solvents? Um, coats? Lotion is a thing. Exfoliant. Okay. Cosmetics. Is that the theme? Yeah, nice. So now we're off to the races. We can do concealer. I see. Two more. Um... Face cream. And fragrance. Nice. Well done. Amazing. Super. Cool. Alright. Someone else shout a number. Agreed. <laughs> um, 23? Yeah. 13069. <laughs> uh... Ooh, shorter one. Only five plus a theme. Hidden word. So, maybe we'll do one more because this is... Alright. No. Icicle. Okay. Yes. Icings. Not quite. Uh, stalactite, stalagmite, um, ooh, ooh, dry ice, frozen something, right, it's frozen gelato, no, but gelato on its own, yes, frozen things, hey, avalanche, nice, Frozen things it is. Very good. Cool. Uh, let's do one more. So, do you want to go two-thirds of 69? 46? <laughs> um, or something else. Whatever someone... Oh, it says sure. 46. It's a done deal. It has been spoken and it shall be solved. Alright, we got a nice juicy one here. This will be good to finish. Six times nine. We'll do that next. I'll make a note. We'll do that one first next time. <laughs> um, so we're doing 46. Cool. I made a note that we're doing 54 first. Influence. Let's see. In, in, I can't spell influence. L U C. Can't say that. The hat. Oh, the hat. Yes. <laughs> if only. Where's Phil? Where's Phil? Hatted? Oh, come on. If the, the if. This would be hilarious if one of these actually is a thing. <laughs> Vince? <laughs> Beady? Um. Oh, bad. But I can't see... God, this is wild. R M R. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't spell. Okay, <laughs> let's try. Ooh, bad influence is correct. Uh, 
Uh, there's no more bad though. There's no, only B E. Oh, could be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, pink songs? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, Owen and I are out of here. Someone else come and stream. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, this is escalated quickly. <laughs> How many songs do we know from Pink? She's a pretty famous solo artist, um, but I just don't. Man. Damn. This is not what I wanted to end on. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, we can make beautiful. Beautiful's good. I like beautiful. Uh, beautiful end. Uh, beautiful. I'd say it's beautiful. TED is going to be the end of one. RMR is going to be the middle. Beautiful so. Enter entry. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Dear Mister. Um, Mister Sid. Mister Hat. Um, oh, President. Dear Mr. President. Yeah, that's a song I vaguely have heard of. Okay, very good, Stephen. This is great. All right. Teamwork. <laughs> uh, it's still beautiful. Beautiful something. Beautiful N, beautiful tar, beautiful can. Something parties. Beautiful parties. Parties is good. Um get the party. Something. Get this party started. Ooh. Get this party started in here. I have heard that. Get the party started. Yes! Oh my god. So good. What a good get that was. Um, you know, we might do one more because this is really just <laughs> not the best one to end on, right? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, they're still beautiful. Oh, yeah. So what, you're a rock star, whatever? Can't 
girls. And can't girls be at This is good though. Can't girls. Most girls. Okay. Woo! It is! Nice! I did not expect that to work, but it did. Most girls, it feels like incomplete. Most girls are bad or something. Beautiful. Beautiful and no beautiful. Hmm. Beautiful trauma. Oh, oh, okay. And and can we pretend? Ah, oh, beautiful trauma. It's an album. Cool. All right. Wow. I feel like that's not the way to end. <laughs> So let's do one more. <laughs> Surely we can pick something better. Um, <laughs> did what? Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 54. Yes, we're doing it now. Come on, 54. Be better. Um, there we go. We're doing 54. That's a done deal. Right. 54. Okay. Cool. Korean. Polish. Hebrew. Well, it's not worse. So German, yeah, German, right? It's languages. So this is this is definitely much more straightforward. French, Arabic, yep, and Afrikaans. Well, we wiped the floor with that one, didn't we? So fifty-four was a good choice. I'm sorry I doubted you, Phil. I'll listen to you next time. <laughs> Um, very good. Yes. Now I feel satisfied that we can move on to the next bit. All right. Awesome. And... Oh, come on now. Where is my thing going? Why are you not showing? Boo. Where have you gone? Mm -hmm. There we go. That's more like it. All right. Awesome. Into the last part of the stream we go then. Uh, this is the next cryptic in the series that we're going to have a look at. Uh, this is by, of course, our good friend Steve Mossberg, um, who is Mostiff on MP's Discord. And this is a cryptic, so it's um, 13 by 13 puzzle, or 11 by 11. 11 by 11. So it's a smaller puzzle, and a more sort of novice oriented, so it should be okay, but um, let's see how we go. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. So, um, let's get going. Uh, one across. Shred it over toasted almond starters. Uh, yes, I have this. Happy. Need my pen and paper if I'm getting anagrams ready. So I have this. No worries. This will be perfect for you then. Um, so he does on his uh, blog 
post, Phil's got it, well done, um, post these puzzles in various forms. You can solve on paper, you can solve online, you can solve in a puzzle format, and you can also solve with um, helpers. So he points out you know, what the definitions are, whatever, so it helps you out. Uh, yeah. Um, one of them, yeah. <laughs> Um, beautiful. So I'm happy with this. So starters is your indicator. Tells you to take the starting letters. Um, and in a moment, Phil's going to pop the answer in the chat. Fire away, Phil. The answer, of course, is... I'm going to put the first letter in before Phil types in the answer. Iota. Agreed. Because we're taking the starting letters of I... O, T, A. And iota is a small bit, and a shred is a small bit, like a shred of evidence. All right. Cryptic example, main source of bewilderment. Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm happy with this. I have this. I've got my pen in hand. That can only mean one thing. That I'm writing down an anagram. And the beautiful thing about words is that you know, the same word can mean multiple things. Taste has got three. Good stuff. So cryptic is a puzzle. It's a cryptic crossword. But cryptic also means that the letters are maybe a bit not quite in the right place. And if you look at example main, there are six letters. So if you anagram e.g. main, taste will tell you what you get. Fire away, taste. Um, here's the first letter. Give you a helping hand. Bang. Agreed. Enigma is a source of bewilderment. Like the Enigma machine, it's a mystery. All right, let's try crosses. We got a lot of top help here. Eat playfully for the audience. Um, okay. Eat. Phil's got one. Taste has got one down. Nice. So I know what type of clue this is. Playfully. Um, playfully, playfully. Jeez. No, I'm not sure. So audience for me is a homophone indicator. Playfully. And eight. If it eats something, it impacts it. Yes. I do have this now. That's the next letter. So audience is homophone. So you're telling the audience they're hearing it. And a word that means playfully is, or a phrase that means playfully is ingest. I-N-J-E-S-T. Steve says it's only joking. And the answer there is this sort of ingest, right? To go look, 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 like that. Nice. Seven. Book. Opening band. Nice. Happy. This is fine. The, the first letter really helps with this one a lot. And that's okay. Like, we all start somewhere, right? You know, I definitely couldn't do these puzzles for a few months, right? Even though they're more straightforward, you need to, you know, just watch and learn and, you know, sort of get an idea of the tricks. So this being a relatively short clue, probably a double definition. And this thing is both a book, and we're talking a book of the Bible. And it's also a band, famous rock band with um, Phil Collins. Um, and this, of course, is Genesis. Um, Genesis is the opening book of the Bible, of the Old Testament. So Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, etc. 
and the band is Genesis. Cool. Uh, this is almost done. Slew in send up of Psych. Well, I think I know what this is. Um, don't know what slew means. So, I think slew is the definition here. Send up. Notice that it's a down clue and you've got send up. Slew means lots. Oh, okay. Interesting. So if you're sending something up in a down clue, you're reversing it. And we need a word that means psych reversed. And you get slew. So I can only imagine it's going to be ton. Like a slew of something, a ton of something. So slay. Oh, okay. Slay I do know of. And so psych is not. But it's in talking mark, so I guess that's what's happening. I I can't I don't know exactly why. I was thinking myself it was nut. As in a nutter, a psycho, a person is a bit psycho. Um, but yeah, I think Stephen says it's it's ton, so that's what we're sticking with. Um, yeah, so I should have a question, uh, exclamation mark, then right, psych, not. In that case. Like, ha, tricked you, not that kind of thing. All right, four down. A fortune's wasted making a scary movie. Oh, now. Um, no, it must be this one. Okay. Ooh, this might be something I haven't heard of exactly. Yeah. Um. Oh, no, I have heard of this. Um. I don't know. It's nine. Yeah. Okay. So I do. I think I have this. Cool. So you need nine letters, and a fortunes has nine letters. Wasted. Wasted making. <clears throat> I guess that's the underground. So the letters are being jumbled up they're being made into the answer which is a scary movie and if, if you if you've seen this movie you know about it i haven't but i have vaguely heard of it i believe it's nosferatu and chat will back me up on that i hope making is linking yeah i want to say that it is too but wasted like wasted your Drunk, you're wasted a verb. Like it's a doing thing. And so Nosferatu. Yeah. That's what I want to say. Um, I just don't know if there's a bit anagram, but anyway. I laid waste to, so it is a verb. Okay. Five. Um, good company of cats shine. Hmm. Cats shine. Uh, 
Oh, very good. This is a bit trickier. Fantastic. All right. I do have this. Okay. So definition here is shy. And I will say that one of the things in any sort of cryptic crossword, or cryptic for that matter, is that punctuation is generally there to completely throw you off the scent. So don't look at punctuation at all. It's there just to make the clue look and read better. It's there to make your life difficult. The only punctuation you really need to look at is at the very end, if there's a question mark, like this one, or if there's an exclamation mark. Um, but these two are question marks. So these will be more like cryptic definitions, something that's not the first thing you think of when you look at these words. But here, yeah, <laughs> clear as mud, right? So this is glitter because good is G. That's just a standard abbreviation. And a company of cats is a litter. So a litter of cats, school of fish, this sort of thing. And shine is glitter. Chill, friendly, retiring leader. So, what is being retired? Hmm. I th yeah, great. Well done. So, I think I know the answer. I don't know. I think there's a deletion. Yeah, is it a deletion? Oh, yes, it is. It's N, isn't it? The letter N's being deleted. Yes, well done. Taste's got it too. All right. Uh, Owen, if you've got it, fire away. What do you reckon it is? And again, these... That's okay. These commas are there just to throw you off. They mean nothing as far as working out what the clue means. Not what I think. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what it is. It's ice. Because ice is chill, cold, and a friendly person is a nice person. As Phil says, the N is not there, it's just in small letters, because it's retiring, as in it's getting rid of, it's being retired. When you retire, you stop working. Leader, as in the leading letter of friendly, which is leading letter of nice, which is N. Um, and that's chill. So a bit tricky, but yep. And this one. Grace ending with noodles right away. Uh... Oh, nice. And this is another deletion. Very good. Very good. I like the deaf here. This is a good deaf. Very clever. So, here the deaf is grace ending. Taste has got it. Well done. And you want to make sure you think about what grace we're talking about. We're not talking about Amazing Grace, the song, for example. We're talking about a prayer. You know, so you're all around the dinner table, the lunch table, you're holding hands with the person you know, on either side, and, you know, you do grace, and what's the very last word you say when you say, thank you, Lord, for good food, good meat, and good company, and all that sort of stuff? Look over our friends and our brothers and sisters in battle and stuff. You say, amen. And noodles here is ramen. Ramen is a type of noodles, and right which is the letter R, goes away. 
So ramen without the noodles, sorry, ramen without the right is amen. Very cool. All right, tasty cactus, question mark. Oh, very good. Cool, I like this. Happy. Yep, same. It's quite juicy, yep. Uh, let's see, what else is it? It's quite flavorsome. It's quite fresh. Um, yes. Mm. And so Stephen's going to fill you in on what the Tasty Cactus is. Far away, Stephen. Um, so the question mark here is telling you to you know, the word tasty is there and there are a lot of things that mean tasty, but you've also got to think of a word that's tasty that is a word for cactus. It's succulent. And you'll find if you have a look at the definition. Succulent. You'll see food tender, juicy and tasty, but also a succulent plant. A book on cacti. So, it's a double thing. Cool. Uh, eight down. His risque dancing could be more fleshy. Um, more fleshy. Okay. Weird bunch of letters. <laughs> uh, well done. I'm working on this. You got 11. Okay, cool. We'll come to that in a second. G8 question mark. Yeah. So I think this is an anagram. His risque has nine letters. Dancing is a very good anagram. Um, you know, letters are dancing, they're all over the place. And the definition is, could be more fleshy. The question is, what's that second letter? Is it SQ or SH? Um... David's got it. Uh, SQ? Is it SQ? Yeah, it feels... That feels right to me. Squirm? No. Uh... Squirm... I want it to be like this, but I can't... Can't make the letters work. U I R. Squirish or something like that. I don't know this word potentially. Um, more fleshy. Yeah, I feel like I need to come back to this. I don't quite know. Do you know this word? Okay. Oh, it's not squirm. It's something else. It's squishier. Right? 
Yeah. Okay. Here's... Here's... Chris Cat. Yes. Cool. Nice. Amazing. Very good. Cool. All right. More fleshy. Squishier. I like it. Uh, cool. You had this one, Owen. Medium. Clip-on mask. Teal. 50% off. Oh, yeah, very good. I do have this. You do. But that's okay. Like, there are some easy clues, some hard clues. Like, there are some clues that are just stupid. That, you know, if, if, if either you know this playwright or you don't. Um, but if you've got this, fire away. Let me know what you reckon it is. Because I have it. That's what I reckon. It's exactly what I reckon. Um, because as you probably worked out as well, we're 50% off. So we're taking out half of the bits of this. And you're left with C-L-I-M-A-T-E. Climate. <laughs> My climate was a medium. <laughs> 13, let's have a look. Trendy couple. <laughs> I've already got it from the, the thing. Of males. Post pics here. Um, so what's the pass here? Let's put it in. We, we all know what it is. Right? Has to be that. Ah, yeah, cool. Stag Ram. Nice. So Trendy is in. Couple of males is a stag, a deer, and a ram, a sheep. And post pics here. Instagram is where you post pictures. Cool. And Steve is very good at like nice creative um, definitions. So I really like that. 12. Bring in blimp or train cargo. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, this is a good uh, indicator. Oh, I like cargo. That's fantastic. Very good. Everyone's getting this amazing. All right, everybody, if you've got it, shout out in the chat. Show me those IM answers. I'm going to type it in as people pop it in. Import. So this is. This is nice. So to bring in something is to import it. And cargo, cargo is something that's being, you know, it's in the cargo hold. It's in the middle. It's a hidden it. Yeah, you've got it. It's just right there. It's part of the cargo of blimp or train. Import is right there. This is wild. Ah, it's a 142. Yes, our side rocks. Nice. Cool. Fun. All right. So rocks here. Rocks as in like a rocking chair. Things are being moved around. Our side. Seven letters. And the definition is actually yes. And so ask yourself if someone says, you know, would you like to win a million dollars? Yes. Would you like to win a million dollars? I sure do. And the 142, so the enumeration, tells you that it's a I, and then a four-letter word, and then a two-letter word. It looks the same either way. Uh, well... Oh, yeah, Captain. Yep. Taste's got it. Yep. So let's put it in. So, 
again, nice definition. It looks. So the eye, it looks, looks around. And the same either way. EYE, EYE. So palindrome. Peep, yep. I. <laughs> Tired rap rhythm. Ah, uh, yeah, nice. Cool. So again, relatively short clue. So automatically should be thinking double deaf. And this is something that is tired and something that is a rap rhythm. That should give it away. And if you're tired, you are feeling pretty beat. So that's not too difficult. Yep, well done. Okay, yeah, perfect. Amazing. Drink with the man occasionally. Yes, happy. So occasionally here is the indicator. And, you know, the thing with cryptic clues is that you know the definition is at one end or the other, never in the middle. And a drink is a pretty good sort of thing for a definition. There are lots of drinks. Everyone's getting this, of course, because they can see the occasional letters of the man. The man likes to drink a tea. Tea's a drink. Awesome. Well done. Everybody, now, two left. Over 62% of the alphabet. Uh, okay. Um, I think I have this. I'm just going to write it out. <laughs> so it's A, K, L. It is very precise. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I actually need to go further. I've only got 13 out of 26. Uh, fair. I, I think it's this. The question is... Do I look at 18 across or try and work it out? <laughs> I've literally written that out the whole alphabet here. So. Sixty-two percent, hey? It's a question mark. That's so going to be something else. Um, Sixteen or twenty-six. Ah, now I know what the endpoint is. Yes, so I did have the first bit, and I was going only up to M, but I need to go further. So a top. Yes. Let's verify. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And A2P is 62% of the alphabet. And over is a top. If you're over something, you're a top it. Nice. And the question mark tells you that it's A2P. So you have to kind of think a little bit laterally about that. Right, last one. Author to take a crack at verse. Um, oh, yes. Okay. So, so you have to know who the author is here. Yep. Do you know the author? Owen is the question. Yes, it is very crosswordies. Edgar Allan Poe. 
As soon as you know that, the answer falls into place because to take a crack at is to have a go, is to have a try, and poetry. It is poetry. Well done. Poetry is verse. Very good. Yep. So author can mean a couple of things. Author can mean any one of authors like Jane Austen or J.K. Rowling or um, Neil Gaiman or J.R. Tolkien, any one of those people. And author can mean the author of the puzzle, as in I or me, the setter. Cool. Awesome. All right, so that was a nice little puzzle. Um, it is just a bit after midnight. Yes, to author something. Yep. Um, but I do want to do one uh, actual cryptic. So this is uh, from mycrossword.co.uk. Uh, it's a uh, very recent puzzle, just a few days ago, set by Postmark. And uh, this will be a fair bit harder, okay? So, you know, I'm probably going to struggle. I'm definitely going to need some help here. And we'll see how we go. All right. So, okay, I'm going to look at this one. This one I have straight away. This is a, an easy starter. So, bottle some Grunier Velt, Veltliné. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, it's only been out for a couple of days, but, yep, you may have done it. Um, so, bottle some. Now, I might just... Yeah, that's a little better, right? That's better. Cool. So, bottle is the definition. Sum tells you to take some letters. And C, in the letters, in the hidden, in the word, is nerve. So, nerve is bottle, like courage. So, that's a nice starter. Um... So, I just want to adjust that again. Cool. That's going to jump around a little bit. Sorry, everyone. Bear with me. Okay. Describing some kings and not queen. Question mark. Hmm, this one may not be the best one to look at straight away. Oh, refresh my help. Okay. Let's see if that does help. Yeah, you're right. Good call. Thank you. Very good. Good good to know for future. Okay. Not queen. So queen usually in crypto crosswords means ER for Elizabeth Regina. Um Some kings. Some kings describing. Um, kings, kings are rulers, kings are playing cards. Not sure here. What I think is going on is. Describing is the definition, so I want it to be ing at the end. Some kings, but not queen, which is er. So get rid of er. But I'm not sure. So I'll put ing and see if three down can confirm the n. Counter agents stationed in criminal organization. Counter agents mm. Again, I'm not sure the end's right I'm just seeing if I can Confirm or not May not be right. Um, I 
No, not sure. So I'm not sure it's ING. We'll get rid of it. Let's try two down. <clears throat> Rejection of official line crossing America. So America is US or USA. Rejection. America could be states. Crossing. Crossing means that something's going inside or outside something else. Official could be a ref, like an umpire. Line could be Line could be like a railway line. Oh, nice. Um, far away if you've got it. Or oh, the answer could be rejection. Refusal. So ref, yeah. So ref is what I was thinking for umpire. And line crossing US. So US. And then a line. A. Oh. Line. A L. Crossing. And then U A. Ah, USA is crossing. It's in the middle. And L is line. So it's ref. Line. But USA crossing. So refusal. Nice. I'm happy with that. Very good. So you can pick things up. You know, you just have to take some time to work out what's going on. Rung around for fondles. Um, rung around. So... Fondles is... Strokes is. So it's going to be a word for rung. Oh, yes. Perfect. And it's going to. And around means. Around and about are great words in cryptic crossword things. So they can mean the letters are jumbled up. They can mean reversals. In this case, it's a reversal. So get a word for a rung. And not telephone rung, as in step a rung of a ladder and if you reverse that you get pets and pet is to fondle like to pet a dog or whatever you've got one now okay we've got an r don't think I have that yet. I'm going to try eight across. We'll come back to that, but keep that in mind. Sure. And sometimes that's all you, you do, right? Bored by Congress, academic son returns. Thank you with foe. Ollie, welcome. Um, bored by Congress... Academic Sun Returns. Hey, welcome. Um, board by Congress. Academic. Sun could be S. Sun Returns. Could be like a Bible reference. Yeah, returns could be flip, like reverse, board. Congress. Uh... 
Yeah, I mean, I think board is it makes more sense as a definition rather than returns. It also could be by Congress, as in next to Congress, academic son returns. So there could be a returning academic son and then Congress. Congress is like the US um, Parliament thing. Stephen's got it. Okay. Is the deaf bored, Stephen? Oh, return to the deaf. Okay, right. Uh, board is dry. Return. So I want it to be ending in S. Right, because returns. Uh, and board is going to be, it's going to be like dry. By Congress. Academic son. So is son just S? And academic is a... Son is S, yes. So... Profits are returns. Prof is an academic. Board. Oh, it. By Congress, it can be it. It being sex. If you're doing it, you're doing the dirty having sex. Okay. Oh. So. Returns are profits. Like your, your profits on your money. Or shares. Um, yes. So, board by Congress. So, board, as in inside, you're boring, you're drilling a hole, inside of that is academic, prof, and son, and it means returns. Wow. Okay. Tricky pass, but we got there. Still don't know this one. Uh, let's try 14. Experimental tablet shortly to be on the books. On the books. I think I know what's going on here, but I don't understand the deaf. On the books, you are. You've got it, okay. Is it an anagram of tablet minus T? Means on the books. Oh, it's not. Okay, so that's where I'm having trouble. So, we're looking for an experimental tablet that's been shortened. Um, on the books. If you're on the books, you're on the payroll... You are tablet. Oh, something on the books. Okay. So is the deaf experimental then? Tablet shortly.
Yeah. So tablet shortly. Tablet could be like a tablet pill. Tablet could be like a notebook. And then to be on the books. Uh, now, a book's talking about Bible books. So is it... OT, Old Testament. So tablet surely is... Right? And then... Experimental. Uh, pilot. Oh, so it's a pill being shortened by an L. Yeah, cool. Nice. Cool, cool. Got there in the end. So it helps to know the definition. So this is another tricky little thing with cryptic crosswords. Is books here are talking about Old Testament. Or New Testament. And then tablet short as a pill. But shortly is shortened by letter. So P-I-L. And you get pilot, which is experimental. That's a pilot study. We have a P here. Adopting attitude when in trouble, spouting rubbish at first. Okay, it has a P. I see an anagram in there somewhere. Um, Stephen's got it. So, so that to me makes sense. How am I going so far? Um, P A. Adopting attitude. Backing, preferring. Pass. Because in trouble. Like the letters are in trouble. Spout. Oh, I don't think actually we're in trouble. Hang on, maybe I haven't got it all right then. Spouting rubbish. So rubbish is an anagram for spouting. At first is A, the first letter of at. And adopting attitude. Um, I don't quite have this one actually. Probably should first indicating R. Oh damn. So I had the wrong letters. Yes, that makes a lot of difference. Yep. It helps to get the right letters. Cool. Thank you, Stephen. That was a big help. So, posturing is the answer. So, adopting attitude is posturing. In trouble is an anagram indicator. The letters are in trouble. For spouting, which is eight letters, and rubbish at first, is the first letter is R. I was thinking it was spouting and then at first is A, but no. In trouble is the anagram, and not rubbish. Cool. Posturing. Very good. Let's keep going. Nuns preferring saints to bishops or judges. 
fun little surface. Something S. This is interesting. Preferring saints. Two bishops. Or judges. So it's going to be a plural, right? Ending S. Saints. Could be STS. Bishops. Could be a couple of things. Bishops could be B as in bishop in chess. Um... Judges could be like lawmakers. Judges could be like you judge someone. Nuns. If you prefer something, you are for it. You are pro. What's that first letter? Uh, judges. Excuse me. Question is, what's that first letter? It's got to be a vowel, I, I reckon. Okay. I have a word that fits. Uh, can't work out the past though. I want the definition to be judges. Preferring saints to bishops. Oh, no, it's not going to work. There's definitely not enough letters there. I didn't count the number of letters and estimates. Uh, okay. I'm not sure about that one. Okay. Served up single shot that contained pure alcohol. Okay, so served up could be reversal, single could be S, single could be LP for long play, or EP, extended play like a music abbreviation, single short could be take off a letter for single, like one without the E, pure alcohol. Served up. Poured. Contain pure alcohol. Mm, not sure. Let's try a few shorter clues. Sentimental rubbish that's said to inspire those on the pool. Um, question mark. Those on the pool. So I want this to be guts. Is that what you have, Stephen? Because it's uh, what did I 
have. No, tugs. The spiders of the pool, it's like in a tug of war, like tugs. Not tugs either. Ah, shoot. Okay. Hmm. Rubbish. That's said to inspire. So, said to inspire those on the pool. Question is, what type of inspire is it? Is it breathing in? Or is it like, oh, you're an inspiration to me? Those on the pool. I don't know what that means. It probably means sentimental rubbish. It might be a trickier clue without that extra crosser letter. Sentimental. Hmm. Okay, just got lots of quizmen. Yep. Web designers powerless to identify wrongdoers. Um, so it's going to be S, right? Got it. Uh. <laughs> so I want web designers to be spiders. Powerless is take P away. To identify wrongdoers. Um, arachnids. Yeah, no worries at all. Uh, happy people to jump in, jump out. Um, you know, whenever it suits them. That's totally cool. This will be the last thing I do anyway, so um, you can catch up on the rest a bit later or whenever you get a chance. But um, yeah, once we do this, I'll be finished. So are web designers spiders? Um, powerless take the P away. Then we're one letter short. <laughs> to identify is to see wrongdoers. More what spiders do. Yeah. Um. So they create webs. They... What they do, they do, they create webs, traps. Powerless to identify wrongdoers. Wrongdoers are crooks, are criminals. Um, um, all right, we'll keep coming back. Um, I might just ask for a lot of help later, but we'll see. She sometimes drives leg forgiving. Hmm. Great webs. Yeah. Um, okay. So spinning. Right. So us uh, sinning. 
It's actually... It's Sydney, it's not actually... And so a sinning person is a wrongdoer? Or sinners? Oh, sinners, that makes a lot more sense with the tense. Yeah. So spinners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Because web designers are spiders, but they are spinners, they're spinner web. That's tricky. And powerless is take out P, as I thought. And to identify wrongdoers, uh, sinners. <laughs> nice. Very good. 27. She sometimes drives leg forgiving. Uh, she sometimes drives leg forgiving. It's probably an and lit or semi and lit because of the question mark. So drives. And then we get rid of leg from something. Hmm, maybe 22 can help us. Okay. Lecture is material. I just need to move myself a little bit. I'll just move myself down a little bit. Yep. Cool. Uh, lecture is material. Moving crowd question mark. Um. I don't think it's going to be anagram of crowd. That seems very strange. Section of letters. Lecturers. Lecturers a teacher, a tutor, a presenter, material. Their notes, their talk, their slides. Moving crowd. If you're moving the crowd, it depends on how you're moving them. Is it like rousing? Is it captivating? Is material notes, paper, serve? No, hmm, okay. Regularly use the lead or the lead for charger. Okay, yep, finally I have one. Nice, so it starts with S. Okay. Stephen's got it, nice. So regularly, this is um, a good indicator. You just take the regular letters, S, T, E, E, D, and a steed is a horse, and a horse is a charger, like an animal that charges. Um, I don't know this one though. Um, Moving crowd. No, I'm not sure. We'll have to get more. Um, all right. Let's try some more here. So, who possibly fronts mirror cover? Album? Uh, mirror cover could be... M, the, f the cover letter. France is Leeds. Mirror is in capital letter, capital letters, capital M. Who possibly? Not sure. Dreams of soldier, wearing nothing, company, sleep. No thanks. Okay. Now, 
Soldier can mean lots of things. Could be AB for able bodied. Could be tar. T A R. Could be salt. These are all terms for soldier. Wearing nothing. Accompanying sleep. Sleep's a nap. Sleep's a kip. Oh, sailors. I'm sorry. Yes. This shows you why I shouldn't be doing the crossword this hour. Um, okay. Ignore that. Wearing nothing. Nothing could be nil. Zero. Could just be O. Accompanying sleep. No thanks. No thanks could be get rid of ta, like TA, like ta, thank you. Dreams. I want the definition to be dreams. We need a type of soldier. Not sure. Let's keep moving on. Cool. Still lots of clues here. Um, unit of astronomers to analyze speed of light. Oh, very good. Happy. I'm going to pop this in. And so a parsec is a astronomical unit. To analyze is to pass, like pass a clue. And then speed of light is C. Kessel Run. Yep. Cool. A gem of a wicket. Uh, a is A. Gem is... Um, a... Beauty, a peach. So wicket is a cricket term. Um, a ball. A dismissal, a delivery, a bowl. A wicket. Dismissal. Are we looking for a four-letter gem? Uh, opal. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Then I may not be able to get it. Um, a gem, a beaut. Is it a gem like an opal gem? Or is it a gem like, oh, a beauty? A gate. Oh, and a gate is a gem. Cool. Okay. Very good. So A is A, gem is... Well, a wicket is a gate, and a gem is a gate. Yep, okay. Fair enough. Bumper month in which to find shells. Bumper a month is month May. Just to find shells. And bumper. It's not a hidden, because there's no A's. <laughs> shells. Shells could be like seashells. Shells could be like um, ammunition. So that's what I'm thinking of currently. Okay. Yes. Happy with this. On board. More than enough pieces. I think I have this. 
So I've got a five letter word for a, more than enough. And then on board is SS for ship. So I want this to be samples because ample is more than enough. It's more than, it's ample. And SS is on board, like an SS, a ship. And samples of pieces. Okay. Sailboat, tip to win race, drifted off. Okay. Hmm. Do I know what the sailboat is? Or tipped sailboat. Okay, I need another pad here. Yeah, I think it's an anagram of two win race. That's nine letters. Drifted off is an anagram. Starts with C. Catamaran, uh, something craft, no. And a sailboat tipped, so it's got tips on it. Um, or if it's tip to win and race, um, which is an anagram of race, drifted off. Uh, which is also a possibility. Sailboat. Tipped. Um, is it a five-letter word for sailboat that's reversed? Uh, sailboats. God, I don't know what sailboats are. Yeah, catamaran I certainly mean, fits. Maybe it's not catamaran then. We no, we can guess it. I've got an M here now. No, let's try a couple of crosses maybe, and we'll see if we get letters that agree. Um, announcement of legal right angle. So announcement's homophone. Legal is law. Right angle is legal right, okay. And it means an angle. So legal right is a... It's a right. It's... Line. Lean. Hmm. Is L I E anything? I've never heard of that. Leon. Oh, Leon. A right to keep possession of property. Oh boy. So lean, so it's going to be. Right angle? If it's the right angle, it's the right lean? I think. And that fits with catamaran. Cat a... No, it doesn't. Alright. 
Alright, try 15. Unorthodox patterns spread by... Lean is legal right. Angle is lean. Okay, cool. Spread by nationalist wing of church. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Oh. Is this going to be a wing of church? Unorthodox is an anagram indicator for patters. Spread by nationalist wing. Nationalist could just be N. Yeah, part of a church. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Sent something sent something God how well do I know my church areas Altar Apps Tap Trap Part Maybe that's not right. Well, it's going to end in... Hmm. <coughs> Trouble is, if I don't know the wing of church, I'm... Yeah, yeah, it is pat patterns in anagram. Yep. Question is, if I don't know it, um, I might need to get a letter from one of these clues. So I've got the anagram fodder, but I don't know the word. Maria playing with doll that's almost fully scaled. Oh, boy. Almost fully scaled. And I want this to be an anagram as well. Almost fully scaled. Yeah. Question mark. So. Scale. What can be scaled? An animal can be scaled? Like a, a dragon or something? Could be a musical scale. Scale could be a climber. Um, fully scaled is almost a top. Almost the top um oh man have i got the pass right is it anagram uh otherwise i'm in trouble and i'll move on i'm running out of clues yeah god fully scaled 
drama. Hey, Eddie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, I probably should, uh, probably should, uh, change this now. Yeah, I keep forgetting to change. Um, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's great Sudoku stream. We were doing Sudoku's, uh, um, a few years ago. Uh, damn. Something drama? Uh, melodrama? No. Uh, I don't know. But I've got the, again, I know it's an anagram, I know the fodder. Um, wandered aimlessly and half-heartedly. So half-heartedly is A-L. Wandered aimlessly. Roamed. Cleaned. Hmm. Mm, no. Mountain climbing double act occasionally hauled up dummy. Occasionally, uh, nope. Man, I thought I had it with occasionally. No, um, double act is a duo. Or is it D U L A O B E C? Mountain climbing. I want mountain climbing to be the deaf here. Oh, clean the kitchen floor. Okay, that must be in relation to the last clue. So mopped. That's uh, six layers, isn't it? Um, mopped half heartedly. So take half the letters. Uh... Oh, this is always green light stuff. Yeah, I probably could put a picture there or whatever. But yeah, always green light, especially when I'm sort of... Um, look, I mean, if I, I'm going to have a first go at the clue, but if I don't get an idea pretty well straight away, I'm, I'm more than happy for people to jump in. So, yep, feel free to just jump in with clues and things. Um... Uh, this, so it's half letters of mopped. So P-E-D, right? Makes sense with the tense. And. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine as well. Uh, wonder aimlessly. Remove half the heart of mopped. Oh boy, so it's it's moped. That, that which I was thinking makes a lot of sense. 
So clean is mopped half of the heart is take half of so one of the two peas. Half heartedly. I guess there's a, like a deletion there. It's a bit tricky though. Up dummy, um, mountain climbing. Pair is a double act. Hold up dummy, um, Occasionally hold up, is that occasional letters? Means mountain climbing, like picking? Um, or no. Ah, another question mark, okay. Attaches articulated trailers. Now articulated here is to do with like being flush, right? Or something. There's another. Uh, there's another right definition of articulated, which I can't remember exactly. Attaches, adheres, sticks, wedges. Like it's like joined, right? But I'm not sure what exactly it means. Bindery or bindery, providing opportunity for bookmakers. <clears throat> I've got no idea what to do with this one. For bookmakers, no, no, I haven't got the foggiest there. Okay. Hmm. Well, my pass for seven downs wrong. Uh, hmm. Okay. Claim essentially spent on support. It's symbolic. Question mark. Claim essentially spent on support. So claim essentially is A, the essential letters. I mean, it could be LAI as well, I suppose. But A, spent, bought, purchased, on support. Support could be like pro something, could be prop. It's symbolic. Hmm, okay. So it's not claim that it's something else. Hmm, symbolic is like a slogan. Prop. Propose. Oh, it's that kind of support. Okay. Claim, essentially. So what's the claim? 
Oh, a ledge? Oh, essentially spent. Okay. Oh, all right. Mmm, that is tricky. So symbolic is algebra. Claim is a ledge. A double L E G E essentially is the L E, but it's spent. It's gone. You don't like it, yeah? On support, support is a bra. It supports a women's midriff section, um, and symbolic is, you know, it's a mathematical symbolic thing. Hmm. Too indirect. I mean, unless you put a ledge, essentially spent. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, nope. 28. So many workers here being gutsy. Another question mark. Man, all these question marks. I'm also looking at 16 down as well now. Um, I still can't get it. Uh, many workers here being gutsy. Gutsy is brave. Many workers. Okay, workers, bees, ants here. Many workers here. Gutsy, you're courageous, you're brave, but the workers. Beehive? Anthill? Gutsy means like stomach. We're talking like bacteria, like microbes. Uh, fungi, bacteria. Right, is that the workers? So they're in your gut, they're in your stomach. That's what I think is going on. Uh, I think I'm just about out of clues here at this point. So let's see, I've got a couple of passes. I don't have these answers. Let's come back to this. Oh, I do have this one now. So, let me just have a look at an armadillo picture. Yeah, okay. I guess it's almost got a, the whole body's a scale. Okay. Yep. Yep, thank you. I did finally work it out. Man, I do not know this one. And now I've got another letter for this anagram. Which is... It's not... There's no A and S. So I can get rid of those. No, I don't know the part of the church. Um, hit me up. I probably haven't heard of it. Uh, Trapes? No. Tra... Tra... Scent? Must be scent, right? Or... Must be transept. Okay. Boy, I've not heard that. That was going to be hard for me to get then. 
cool. But at least I'm getting the passes, so I'm happy with that. it off um you've got it okay something ed to win is to race drift it off oh cat for short tip to win called a nap oh my god I Boy. Man. So it's got to be an E, right? It's napped. Oh boy. Nap. God, that's hard. Cat napped as you've drifted off. Wow, that's really hard. Okay. Oh, mammoth. Right. Uh, bumper month. His bumper is mammoth. Month. In which to find shells. Uh, ammo. Uh, ammo are shells. Thank you. In a month. MTH is month. Oof, that's a rough abbreviation for a month. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, at this point, I think I'm happy to just start um, filling in these ones and we can just pass them. Um, so let's just have a look. So ants. Ant is a soldier. Dreams of fantasies. Accompanying sleep. No thanks. Wearing nothing. I don't understand the way. I think we're accompanying sleep. I don't know how that works. But the deaf is dreams. I want soldier to be ant, like an ant colony, wearing nothing. Accompanying sleep. No, we're gonna have a look at the passes later. Um, oh, image. So mirror image is what kind of thing. Okay, so that's sure. Um, counter agents. We didn't look back at this one. Criminal organization could be a mafia or a syndicate. Um, let's have a look. Stationed in criminal organization. Uh, 
Stationed. Counter agents. Oof. Criminal. That's that's okay. Wow. In criminal organization is and again say for stationed. Cool. Norman. Norman D. Norman B. Is that? And not Queen. No. Norman. So some kings like Norman kings. And not Queen is Norman. Something like that. Something like that, I think, is what's going on. Um, assists or something, assistance or something like that. I haven't had an E there, that's not going to work. As saints, two bishops or judges. Ugh. Oh, abbesses. So, S, that's where I was getting stuck. I thought saints was ST, so that's just S. So, it's a swapulation. That's, yeah, but I was putting ST. So that's where I was getting stuck. And judges and assessors. Yeah. Okay. So I knew the definition was judges, but I couldn't work out the swapulation. Um, single short. EP. Let's see if I'm right. Nope. Could be e EP. Short that contain pure alcohol. Single. Okay, loan. Is served up single. Short that. So that is being shortened by one letter. Contained inside and pure alcohol is ethanol. Okay, nice. And rush. Mush. So sentimental rubbish is mush, like you're mushy. Said to inspire those on the pool. What you said, a husky. Oh boy. Nope. Would not have got that. No idea. So I'm glad I'm revealing these because I would have sat here for hours not getting them. Oh, gallo. A golfer drives leg for oh it's a lift and separate is it um she sometimes drives a golfer giving is anagram for leg four. Oh boy and sir surge Moving crowd. Surge. Lecture is material. Moving. Is it, is it we cycling here? No, sounds like surge. No. No idea about that. I'll have to look that up in a second. Um, oh, it's homophone. But, yeah, I've never... Surge, yeah, that, that, I don't even know what that means. Surge. Okay, fabric. Wool, cloth. Oh, material. Oh, okay. That's why it's material. Okay. And let's have a look. Placebo. So dummy is a placebo. Mountain climbing is Alp. Double act occasion occasionally. So it's S E B O. It is occasional letters, but I had the wrong way around and it's hauled up. So it's regular letters of double act, but backwards C E B O. 
and mountain climbing. Oh, so it's a double reversal. Very good. Um, don't know this one. Arts ads. No idea what's going on there. Bindery? This must be an English clue, I'd say. And colony. Right? Colony is many workers here. And it's oh colon E. That's very good. I like it. Question mark. Gutsy. I was right, but I was just thinking not I wasn't thinking of the right word for stomach, but colon. Guts E, colon E, and many workers here in the colony. Very good. I like that. Cool. Uh, let's have a look at annotated solutions. Oh, no. So this is drape. Yep. So this is drape, which we didn't have right. Um, let's have a look at the solutions. Who possibly is Doctor Mirror Ape? Okay. Team pulling sled. Okay. Yep. Ads. <clears throat> oh, those trailers. I was thinking of um, car trailers, but it's actually advertisements. Damn it. All right. Cool, yep. Lift and separate, yep. <clears throat> giving is an anagram because the letters are giving and you answer. Nice. <laughs> Apologies. I like it though. I actually like this, this type of thing. Um, there were a lot of question mark clues in this puzzle, I will say. Okay. Uh, yep. Now, what's going on here? Ant wearing inserted into nothing. It's F A. Sleep siesta. No deletion. No thanks. No tar. But what's this F A? Oh, is that being a naughty abbreviation? Is that fire truck all? Is that what that's saying? Or that? Oof, boy, tough. Surge, yeah, wouldn't have got that. B in dairy. Oh. It's a lift, lift separate again. Very good. Yep. <laughs> I'm with this person. Some good stuff, but yeah, I definitely am not um, on the same level as some of these people. And uh, MP, this is Mental Playground, for those of you who are interested. He also sets on this web, web um, this website, and he has his own blog. 11 question mark clues. Yeah, there were a lot, which is why I struggled, because there's a lot of question mark clues, and it's tough to get them, right? So, yeah. Awesome. I'll give it a like. Oh, I can't. All right. That's fine. I'm not um, signed in. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, 
there you go. That's the puzzle hot off the press. Um, toughy. But, uh, yeah. You know, there are a couple of gettable clues in there, but there are a lot of question mark clues, a lot of tricky things to get. So, yeah, it can be difficult to, uh, you know, get some of these things. Um, you know, some of them are tricky words, like if you don't know parts of a church. Um, and... You know, catnapped as well is not the easiest word in the world, like nap. Um, what was the annotated for seven down? Say so that's a cat. Tip to win race is napped. Yeah. If you don't know these things, you're going to struggle. But anyway, cool. All right, that's going to do it for me. Um, thanks everyone for watching, chatting, lurking, all the good fun stuff. Um, I hope to be back next week. If not the next week, then the week after for sure. And uh, we'll do a lot again sometime. All right. Thanks for uh, watching. And um, thanks particularly to Stephen at the end there for helping me out with some of those passes. And I'll uh, we'll catch you all next time. Chuck out.